Hello, you fluffy bastards. This is Undertale, and this is part 9. We're continuing where we left off of playing a nice pacifist run, dealing with dogs, and just going on an adventure, I guess. Let's see what's in here. Woof. What a tiny dog has. Indeed. Is all these. Is a snow puff. Is this a snow puff? This how it. Wait. Oh, it is, however, a snow puff. How about this? Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. And this is also a snow puff. Oh. Well, that's not a snow puff. That's a pufferanium, maybe? Our. Holy shit! That's a big fucking. Little. <laughs> what the fuck? It's got little dog hands on its wrist. I mean, it's got little dog face on its wrist and its spearhead. What the fuck is this? This music! <laughs> what the f Okay, pet play, beckon, ignore. Okay, what does it want? It's so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Oh god! Greater Dog is watching you intently. Um... Play? He's not excited enough to play with. Uh oh. Oh, oh, gee. Hmm. He's waiting for your command. What? Okay, I need... Some night. I can't eat the snow piece, obviously, so I got an ice cream for this reason. The fuck? Okay, uh, There we go. Okay, he's waiting for your command, so I have to beckon him. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. There we go. Greater dog is seeking affection. I will play with you, I guess. Greater Dog is not excited enough to play with. Uh oh. Bark, bark! Oh god. Oh! Stop sleep barking. He's seeking affection, so like. Pet. Curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. How could something as fucking large as this fucking Greater Dog get on my lap without crushing me? It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Zzz. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Uh oh. Bark, bark, ow, goddamn. The barking hurts. Where the dog is patting the ground with its front paws. Let's pet it again! Excitement is creating a power field that prevents petting. What? Oh, okay. A power field. Okay, let's play then. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater Dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now Dog is very tired, it rests its head on you. Ah, Jesus Christ, dogs. Greater Dog wants some TLC. Wait, what? What? What is TLC? What? No, no seriously, what is, what is TLC? Um... Uh... What? What is TLC? It sounds like a TV channel. Want some TLC? What is TLC? Um, Beckon? Nothing else happens. Ah, oh, shit. Ow. Um, am I supposed to ignore it or? I can't. I can't spare it yet. I get. I'm gonna try ignoring. It can't play unless I pet. I'll try petting again. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Ah, god damn it! Pet's capacity. Pet capacity is forty percent. Fucking Christ! You. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches hundred percent. The dog flops over, its legs hanging in the air. Uh oh. Oh god, I don't want to die by a dog. No. Greater dog is contented. What if I pet it again, though? Tummy rubs are forbidden. Uh-oh. Oh. Greater dog is contented. Oh, okay. Uh, spare. Okay, then. 
<sighs> Jesus Christ, dog. No, uh, oh, 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 okay. Okay. I'm gonna eat some ice cream, I, I guess. Is this sweet? <laughs> Is this as sweet as you? Okay. Alright, so, mo moving on. Uh, we, greater dog, yeah, just... That happened. I haven't fought the lesser dog, unfortunately. Oh. Mm -hmm. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror! Oh god, not the Pomeranian. It's dangling. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Well, what's the hold up? Hold up. What hold up? I'm about to activate it now. Um, are you sure? That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, maybe, too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Oh, phew. What are you looking at? This is another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Heh. Heh? I guess he really doesn't want to get rid of me now. He's he's too attached. Hello. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I already know about blue attacks. Oh, Snowden. And a flower that I can't pick up. Welcome to Snowden Town, where ice is also here. Anything behind the sign? No. Save point. Excellent. Uh, 142 minutes. You can't be serious. Use the box. Mm, sure. Okay, nothing new. What the hell is this thing? Hello, Traveler. How can I help you? Uh... Uh... I don't talk. Care to chat? Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? You're certainly asking a lot of questions. What to do here? Mm-hmm. Grillby's has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap in the inn. It's a night next door, my sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Uh, town history! Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Hmm. How about your life? Life is the same as usual, a little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we have got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? I guess so. Okay, well, what do you bought? Hmm. A five attack slap? Or, no, no, wait, that's just five attacks, but I also have five attack already, so that's useless. Manly Bandana. Hmm. A, wait, I'm... Wait. A bicycle that I eat? Hmm. Interesting. Technically, Cinnabon, Cinnabon would be more effective and cheaper than technically, since two of these... Hmm. I don't know, honestly. Anyways, this has more defense, I'm gonna buy that. Um, I'll try both of these. Okay. Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? 
I don't know how it works where you come from, but... If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Well, that is logical. I can't argue with that. How much health do I have? Full health. Oh, yeah. Can I call mom? Yeah! No! Go, mom! Pick up! Oh. That makes me somewhat sad. What's in the couches? Money? What are you? Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum? Hmm. Hotel, one night is 80, Jesus. Sure. Oh, jeez. That is weird fucking snoring. Oh, Jesus. That really reminded me of Earthbound. You look like you had great sleep. Which is incredible, because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. What? Um... Wait, what? Let's see if I can do it. Never mind, I don't think I can fall asleep in uh, this hotel, I guess. Okay, so this hotel is useless, and apparently I can't get my max XP. Uh, oh, wait, it did. Two. He gave me my money back, and my health is 30 out of 20. Interesting. Alrighty then. Huh. Don't want to walk to the other side of the town. Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Oh, it's like a bunny village, except for the bear. Ooh, Christmas. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. Bun 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 bun. Alrighty then. Who are you? That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Yeah, I know what you mean. She's leashing another bunny. It's kind of weird. I think I figured it out. Nope, never mind. Yeah, you you no. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a, a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Guess it was a good thing that those teens tormented that monster? No. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Huh. Any can I get in this house? No. Alright, this town is a little bit weird. Who are you now? Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Yeah, because, I mean, what adult likes to wear striped shirts, eh? Striped shirts for fucking kids. As I stare into your soul. I wonder if that weird skeleton is an adult or a kid. Eh, <laughs> but virus. This town doesn't have a major. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. What? Politics. Well... Let's get some food, like... Yeah, I'm just gonna go into here. What? Jeez, is that, is that flowy over there? No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and... Hot guys! I guess the bartender is kind of hot. Uh, are you flowy? Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. And I've heard they have things called bathrooms. Uh-huh. We are sentries, but we never give any respect. I wish these skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Mm. Mm -hmm. No. What about you? You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Yeah. How are you, doggo? I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> Seriously? Ah, oh, jeez. How are you, gr greater dog? How are you? Um, she's gonna give a derp face? Okie dokie. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Alright, what 
Okay, what about you, lovebirds? I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. What? I guess I could ask Undine now. Uh, but I think she likes someone already. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undine. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Uh, huh. The jukebox is broken. The capital is getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts. Yeah, bring them on. Okie dokie, what? Grills, Grillsbs, Gr Grillsbs said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Oh, oh, okay. Can I get... This is useless! I can't do anything here. Alright. That was weird. Whatever. Time to cut talk with the rest, I guess. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Then again, if these are supposed to be caverns, like I fell down a hole, why is it snowing here? How is there snow here? We're in a cavern in a cave. How is there snow? How are clouds forming to create snow, honest? We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be more morose about it? Smile, smile. At least I'm not making puns. Indeed, that's true. Holy shit, this place is kind of big. Holy shit. There's a lot to do here. I probably won't be able to do it all in one episode. What is this? What? 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 Um... I'm sure this will serve a point... Or, like, a reason... For later. That, that's kind of weird, but... Okay. So! This will have to be it for this episode. I hope you fluffy bastards, or fluffy people, or fluffy ladies, or fluffy people, fluffy individuals, that you have enjoyed this episode. If you've liked this, comment and subscribe and leave a like or something like that. That'll help. It'll help great. It'll make it so we don't starve tonight. <laughs> Either way, I hope you've enjoyed this series so far. And until the next episode. Fuck you, witch. You want a piece of me? Fuck you. Wizard, come here. Double slap. Hello everyone, welcome to Black Mesa. I think this is a real I'm talking! This is Black Mesa, part 5. <laughs>